Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Sushil this side and this is continuation of PySpark interview questions and answers. So in this video we are going to see one more real time scenario based interview question. So here let's assume we are having two input data frames. First is containing the student and second is containing the student marks. So these two input data sets that we are having and in the output we just want to have the student information and it could be having a student ID and a student name from the student data set and percentage and the result that we need to calculate by using the student mark data set. And here as you can see how we can calculate the percentage. So percentage simply we can calculate whatever the student ID we are having based on we'll be going to sum the marks and divided by the total count of those. And next we can see the result. So how we can get the result. So for result here we are having certain conditions. So if the percentage marks is greater or equals to 70 then that will be distinction. And if the marks between 60 to 69 then that will be first class. If the mark between 50 to 59 then that will be second class. If the mark will be 40 to 49 then that will be third class. And if percentage marks is less than 39 that student will fail. So what approach we will be following for getting this output. So here like these are the steps that will be going to follow. First of all we'll be going to combine these two data frames. So by using join we'll be going to combine these two data frames. So you can see the ID and name we are getting from the student and the subject and marks we are getting from the student marks data frame. Once we have joined between these two data frames, we are having a single data frame. Now here we'll be going to calculate the percentage. So how we are calculating the percentage. So for this we are going to do the group by on ID and name column and then we are just doing the sum of these marks and divided by the total count. So by using that we'll be going to create another data frame with the percentage marks. Now here we are having the final data set. So based on this data frame that we have created, we'll be going to create one more data frame and this data frame will be having the result as well. So here we'll be going to use the case statement. So inside the PySpark, we can use the when and otherwise condition for getting this result. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to do the same in practical. So here let me try to execute this query. So it will be going to create these two data frames like data frame one and data frame two. Data frame one is nothing but the student data frame and data frame two is student marks data frame that you can see. The first thing that I told you we will be going to do the join between these two data frames. So we can simply join data frame one dot here we can go with join and inside that on which data frame we want to join. So we want to join on data frame two. Second, it is asking like what condition on which condition we want to join. So the condition is here we can see data frame one dot ID column. Similarly, we have data frame two dot ID column. So on the basis of ID column, we just want to combine these two data frames. So let me try to put this in another data frame, maybe DF join and let me display this. DF join. Let me execute and we'll see the output of this. Here we can see it is having ID name from first data frame, ID subject marks from second data frame. ID is coming twice, so we are not required to have the ID twice. So let me try to remove the ID which is coming from data frame 2. So for removing those, we can use the drop and under that we can specify data frame 2 dot ID because we want to have the unique columns in the output. So now we can see we are having only this unique column. So once we are having this, the next operation we just want to try to get the percentage marks instead of this mark. So for this we can simply use df underscore join and here the first thing like we are required to do the group by. Second on which column basis we want to do the group by. So group by should be on ID column and the second column that will be name column. The next thing we are required to use the aggregate operation. So for using aggregate operations and functions let me try to import the function first. So from 
pyspark dot sql dot functions then we can go import astic and inside this aggregate we are required to specify our aggregation so the first thing we just want to do the sum of this mark so we can go with sum and here we can specify the column name so the column name we can specify mark now once we have done this let me put this into another data frame that could be df underscore percentage and let me see the output of this df underscore percentage let me execute and we'll see the output of this so it will be going to have the sum of mark but our requirement is we just wanna do the aggregate on this mark so it will be having the percentage so for this after doing the sum we are required to divide this with the count of astic let me try to execute so it will be getting the actual percentage as you can see it is having this percentage here use the alias name so how we can do the alias name so let me try to add this operation inside this brackets and for this we are required to use the alias name so that's why i have put this inside a bracket and let me use the alias here and this alias this may be percentage let me execute and we'll see the output of this so here we can see it is having the percentage column now now the last thing we are required to check this percentage value if the percentage value is greater than 70 then that will be distinction so how we can do that so as we have created df underscore percentage data frame so here first let me try to select so as we are required to have all the columns and second here we are required to specify our conditions so first i am going to use when and the condition is df dot here we need to check the percentage so if this percentage value is less than or equals to if this percentage value is greater than or equals to 70 then we are required to specify the output of this as distinction now once we have done this we are required to specify another when condition and on that when condition we can specify df dot percentage less than 70 and df dot percentage greater than or equals to 60 on this condition it will be first class and this should be coming inside the bracket only like this and we can close this bracket the same thing we can do for the second class third class and fail as well for the second class the condition could be less than 60 and here it should be 50 and for this it will be second class and this should be third class and the last condition that could be for fail so we can specify fail here and this could be between 40 to 50 so here we can specify less than 50 greater or equals to 40 and for the last one here we could specify that should be less than 40 on that scenario this could be fail now once we have done all these let me put this into another data frame that could be df final and let me use the display of this df underscore final and we'll check the output of this okay it is saying in case syntax just because of this it should not be double m percent it should be only single m percent let me execute and we'll set the output of this so it is saying like df is not defined because it should not be df it should be df percentage so let me try to use the df percentage in all the places and so as in the output of this we could see all these five four columns and it is having id name percentage earlier but the result column we have added by using this when condition so i hope guys you have understood how we can write the query for getting this output thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video